Hi guys and welcome to part 10 of how to create Minecraft 2D using Game Maker. Uh, this is actually part 3 of the inventory system and in this inventory system tutorial I'll show you how to uh, place blocks in your game. Yeah, uh, but first of all I want to improve the breaking part and I added with our guy selector in the creation event a slot previously to zero so we get like actually slot two but I use previously shortcut brief pref and set that to zero and in the step event uh, at the end of this step event I'll check if slot previous is a slot or not so if slot previously equals uh, the slot and if it's not equal, uh, that means the slot has been changed. Um, it will set the index variable of object break to zero and the breaking variable of object break to false and then set the slot previously to that current slot. So that means that when we hit, um, when we change our inventory um, selection, actually, uh, then it's going then uh, the same thing will happen when we move the mouse away from the block so now let's go and create um, the how to place blocks okay uh, first of all we are going to object control and we want to copy this and we have set here object but we are going to make it item so as you as you can see my object one is object cobblestone the only thing you gotta do is add your cobblestone sprite and create um, another block and just duplicate it make it parent it to object break and just set the hotness to 10 because we need 10 seconds for cobblestone block to break with bare hands so now we are going to object slot and we are going to set um, yeah, we are going to set a global uh, right button and we are going to set a key press here Q, this is our actually our item drop so we can actually drop items with the Q button and we are going to set a creation event and in this creation event we will say that place is false so that means we can't place block blocks so the place variable depends on if um, object mouse follow is meeting a block or not. That means that if ma this object, object mouse follow, uh, is meeting a block, then obviously place um, variable in object slot will be false. So let's say this. Like that. So whenever it's meeting a block, object slot place uh, object slot variable place will be false but I also want this place variable to be false whenever I am meeting Steve that would just fix a tiny glitch you can see it by leaving this and of course we need to say we need to set the object slot places variable to true whenever it's um, meeting a block next to it so uh, I'll just fill it in and show you guys what I mean by that So that means that when I am next to a block, in wh whether um, it doesn't matter which, which direction, then this place variable will be true. So now I have filled that in. Uh, we are going to object slot and we will fill this in. So that means that uh, if place is true, 
and I am obviously pressing the right button. So this only works for the objects meeting the guy selector. So that means that we are checking here if our inventory is full because if it is zero it's empty. Here we will set that current amount of blocks to minus one. And here we will set the object variable to this variable, which is when we have um, dirt or stone, or when we have dirt in our inventory, this variable will be 2, so the object variable will also be 2. And here we will set this um, um, this index of blocks in that current slot to zero whenever um, we have no blocks left in our inventory. So that means when I have one uh, cobblestone block in my inventory and we press the right button uh, whenever this is true, then it will be obviously zero because one minus one is zero. So then it will check if that amount is zero that amount is zero then it will set this variable to zero which is this and after that we are going to create the object just like just like that so now we are going to create the object which is uh, this uh, value of that object and that will fill in this variable here and let's say we have dirt then this one will be 2 object will be 2 uh, 2 will fill in object here and when we look at object number 2 we will see it is dirt Object number two, dirt, like that. And um, well, let's test it. Let's test it if it's working. After that, we will create a drop item thing. So let's destroy some blocks here. So I can still collect them. I'm still drawing the good one. And when we click in midair, no objects will be created. But when we click here, an object will create. And when I hold the right button and I jump, you'll see it works perfectly and it's all smooth. Can't place blocks here. Now I do. So that's pretty cool, huh? Now go for the item drops. That is in our object slot when I press the Q button. So again, this only works for the slots currently meeting the guy selector. Let's actually copy this part. And this part. Now oh, let's copy this. Copy this. Suddenly lags suddenly very bad. So now we will say this. And let's copy this and paste it here and say minus because plus the x value plus is only working when the global facing variable is 1. And if you don't know what this means, global facing variable, you should probably check out part 2, 
because there we will set the global facing variable to minus one, one whenever Steve is facing to the left and one whenever Steve is facing to the right. So you saw that we can place blocks now, let's see if we can drop items. So I'm picking up some grass blocks here. Ian, can I drop them? Yes, I can. Oh, you saw that? I can collect my own item. So that means then we that we need to adjust this a little bit. Let's remove this. Oh, let's place zero and zero point two there. I don't like the zeros. Like that. Yeah, I also added the uh, leaves items because I realized that we can actually collect those uh, leaves with shares. So I forgot that. Pretty stupid. So we can actually drop items. We can actually build items. Uh, blocks. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So uh, the next tutorial is going to be about uh, minerals or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Wh whatever you like. So if you post something in the comments and what say uh, we like water, then I'll probably make a tutorial about how to generate water and how to get um, water physics in your game. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye. <laughs>